On average, there are 11,000 planes in the sky simultaneously. To prevent unnecessary panic, many things are deliberately concealed. For instance, did you know where the air in an airplane comes from at an altitude of 10 kilometers? The air in the plane is circulated by the engines, where it is heated to a temperature of 250 degrees, causing all the moisture in the air to evaporate. Although airplanes have humidifiers, they do not fully cope with their task. As a result, many passengers complain about dryness in their throats and eyes. In some cases, this can lead to allergies, headaches, and dizziness. Unfortunately, due to their audacity and sense of impunity, modern airlines have started selling more tickets than the actual number of seats available on the plane. This occurs when there are over 300 seats in the aircraft. Therefore, do not disregard online check-in, which usually opens 24 hours before the flight. Otherwise, you may have to take the next available flight. In the movies, any hero can usually land an airplane. But in reality, it's not that simple all systems must be manually controlled, and no automation can handle it. Most importantly, you won't just find a button to contact the air traffic controller for further instructions. Even the flight attendants don't know where it is. Well, where is the button to contact the air traffic controller? Maybe this one? Oops. That doesn't seem right. How about this button? Oh, darn. What's happening? How do I turn all of this off? According to an anonymous survey of pilots, it was found that they often doze off at the controls. Even though they have designated rest periods, sleep is a delicate matter. Fortunately, there is an autopilot, so there's no need to worry. Great job, everyone should work like this. By the way, what's the weather like outside? How's the weather? The airplane crew also eats during the flight. However, their food is different and of much higher quality compared to what is served to passengers. This is mainly because the crew needs to perform physical tasks on board, and food poisoning must be avoided. Therefore, their meals include fresh rolls, fruits, and desserts. Did you know that on your tray table, where you eat, a few flights ago, a child's diapers were changed? But there's an optimistic moment in this story most likely, the area was cleaned before your arrival, so let's hope it was a wet cleaning. The oxygen supply in the masks is sufficient for only 15 minutes in case of cabin depressurization. But fortunately, this time is enough for the pilots to descend the aircraft to an altitude where the oxygen mask is no longer needed. During the flight, flight attendants try to serve dinner as late as possible. This is because there are passengers who don't eat at night and others who have fallen asleep. And that means only one thing, fewer people to serve food to, less work for the crew. Very often during a flight, airplanes collide with birds. Usually, aircraft are designed to handle such unforeseen stress. For example, an engine can ingest a bird weighing up to 2 kilograms. However, speeds are always different, and the engine can easily fail as well. On the positive side, you probably won't even know about this incident unless the collision occurred during takeoff. In that case, the plane will return for inspection, and you will be directed to the waiting area. Do you know why the lights are dimmed on the plane? It's quite simple it's preparation for a possible evacuation. For instance, if the flight is during the night, dimming the lights allows passengers' eyes to adjust to darkness in advance. For the same reason, they ask you to open the window shades, so that in case of evacuation, you won't be blinded by daylight. Why is it cold on the plane? Typically, the temperature on board is kept cool to reduce motion sickness among passengers. Motion sickness occurs less frequently in a cool environment, so even if you ask the flight attendant to raise the temperature, in most cases, it won't happen. Turbulence occurs due to air currents that cause the aircraft to shake. Is turbulence dangerous? No. Modern airplanes are designed to handle such stress, so they won't fall apart in the air. Moreover, pilots are aware in advance of areas with air turbulence and try to navigate around them. And lastly, if you are going to be taken to the terminal by bus from the plane, there's no need to rush to exit. By boarding the bus last, you will be the first one to disembark from it. This way, you can pass through passport control more quickly. Although, you will still have to wait for your luggage at the carousel, and by that time, all passengers will be there. So, no matter what you do, you can't save time. Thank you all for watching, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon.